Hello everybody, thanks for checking in. Let's look at these stove top turkey necks. This is Price Mixing It Up. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Pamela. DIY Gardening. Real Talk Topics. Cooking and mixing in the kitchen. Travel and trips. On the water, on the plane, on the road. All right, thank you for coming in the kitchen today with Price Mixing It Up, the stovetop turkey necks. So here's what I did. You guys know me, huh? Most of you know that I always start off with my um, little Tryon Trilogy, whatever you want to call it. It's my bell pepper, onion, and garlic. You know, I put that at the bottom of the pan and, and um, just mix that together. And so I'm putting the turkey necks in. And I'm going to um, just let them get seasoned with my trilogy. Let's call it trilogy. And so as you can see, I'm just going to cover these uh, turkey necks. I had two packages. Um, I don't know how many pounds it was, but um, there were so many in a package. And they're pretty meaty. So what I'm doing here is just basting them with my uh, bell pepper, onion, garlic, and... I'm just going to let these kind of simmer and cook a while and let these seasons get into it before I start adding any liquid. So let's just see how we do here and probably let them simmer for about maybe 30 minutes. Okay, then we're going to add the chicken broth in. I usually add a couple of cans, just enough to cover the meat. Um, I don't really use any water. So um, here I have two cans, three cans. It depends on how much um, broth and juice you want. But this is plenty. So what I'm going to do is let these come to a boil. And then we're going to simmer them and let them cook slow. Um, usually takes a couple of hours. So don't be in a rush to eat these. All right, let's see. Um as you can see, the color of the, of the uh, turkey necks have changed. And so now I'm adding cream of mushroom soup. One can is what I use. Now, if you want more of a creamy texture and broth, you can add more cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup, cream of celery soup, any of the cream soups you can add in just to give yourself a little gravy. It's not going to really change the flavor of the meat. But as you see at the end, I made some rice. And that's going to be my gravy for my rice, the juice from the meat. So, again, once I add that soup in there, I'm just going to let it boil a little bit. Then I'm just going to cover them and simmer them until they're very tender, falling off the bone. All right. So, some, some of you may need a lesson on how to eat a turkey neck. But it's very meaty on a bone. And once it's all done, it should just come off as you bite into it. You're not going to eat the bones. So let's see here. As I said, I'm turning that down. I put it on four on my stove. All right. So after they cook for probably about three hours, I let them simmer. This is the way it's going to look. So again, if you want creamier textured gravy. Um, otherwise, as you can see, the turkey necks have changed in color. And they are so delicious. It may not look like they're delicious, but once you taste them, you'll be like, oh my goodness, where have I been? So um, let me just see what's on the next piece. I'm going to simmer these a little more. And here they are, the final pick. Let's say it that way. As you can see, the broth has boiled down a whole bunch, and the meat is a different color. It almost looks like it's been in the oven. And so now these are ready. Here's what I did. Okay. I have baked some zucchini, my favorite, one of my favorite vegetables, a little rice, and my turkey neck. I'm telling you, y'all, this is screaming. You should try it. Okay. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Amen. Because egg bones, turkey, turkey necks, oxtails, <laughs> pork chops, um, Pig feet <laughs> cooked and pickled. Um, what else we ate? Spaghetti, lots of chicken, uh, meatloaf. So I came up in the 60s as a child. 
uh, 70s as a teenager, 80s as an adult, right? And those are the foods that I ate growing up and I'm still eating those foods um, sparingly. You just, it's cooked so tender, you just pull the meat off. Yeah, you can, most people suck on the bone because you get the juice out of it, but, mmm, mmm, it's good. So it's already kind of salty, so you don't need a lot of salt. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. Overall, I cooked them probably like three hours. Um, I started them boiling, as you watch through the video. Then I cooked them on a simmer, and I kept them on a simmer for like two hours, so they can be very tender, have the seasonings go through them, and the flavor is dynamite. So, mm-hmm, mm, it's really good meat. So, those of you who like corned beef, that texture is very similar. If you like corned beef, you don't like corned beef, you'd be like, oh, no, but the texture is similar, the taste is not. This taste is um, very meaty. Um, you, you just have to try it. I'm just telling you, try my recipe. I showed you everything and I'm, you, you listen to it again, see all the ingredients, very simple. Most things you have in your cabinet already. Um, just make sure when you start them off, salt to them within those the bell pepper, the onion, and the garlic. Saute it really good and let it get those seasonings going into them. So, hey, y'all, it's Price Mixing It Up. I'm about to enjoy this meal. I thank you for checking in with me. I'm coming back, y'all. <laughs> it's a restart 2023. We're almost in the 2024, but we're still doing a restart. So in Jesus' name, be blessed. I love you, and it's not a thing you can do about it. And guess what you're going to do? Remember to make it a what? A great day. So, yeah, you hear football in the background, and that's what it is. And when it's basketball season, you hear basketball in the background. Baseball, you're going to hear baseball in the background. So, guess what? Let's pray real quick. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless the ones that are watching this video. Bless the, bless the ones that looked at the video, didn't click on it yet, but will, in Jesus' name. And thank you right now for blessing their children your children's children, the generations, Lord. We're breaking curses in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that we're all strong because when we are weak, then are we strong in the Lord. So take care. I'll see you next time. Can I get a whoop, whoop?